Hi everyone and welcome to the Film Dirt Lounge. Well, what a classic film this is. It's probably the best Tarantino film that Tarantino didn't direct. It's 1993's True Romance. It's very clear that this is a, a very simple love story. And I felt a very classic case of love blossoming while the world around them burns. And even though it's directed by the great Tony Scott, it's still very much a Tarantino film. I don't know why he didn't direct this. This was probably in his early writing career and for whatever reason decided to sell on the script. Maybe he felt he couldn't do a love story much justice, not more so than someone like Tony Scott could do, who around that time was much more of a, a veteran, probably specialising in action films, but when you're mixing action and comedy, who better than Tony Scott? I mean, look at this poster, look at the names here. This cast is absolutely incredible. This is that early 90s period where I think Christian Slater was at his very peak. He was a very cool actor back then. And I don't recall seeing him in too many films since. I'm not sure why. But in the 90s, he seemed to be in a lot of really cool films. And his scenes with Patricia Arquette are great. There's a chemistry for sure between those two. And when you're thinking of maybe this unreal scenario of a prostitute suddenly falling in love, it's made clear that she's very inexperienced and very early in her streetwalking career. Or do all prostitutes say that? <laughs> Who knows? But in this setting, I felt it was perfectly believable. She was paid by Clarence's boss to accidentally on purpose bump into him. Here's a birthday present from me kind of situation. And maybe there is some truth in love at first sight. Maybe it could happen. And the tone of this film supports that theory. It's very quick cutting. Uh, definitely comedy is at the forefront. All given that panache by Tony Scott. This is probably right up there as one of my very favourite films. There's a couple of monologues as well in classic Tarantino style. He works in a comic book shop and he's talking about uh, Spider-Man and various comics. You can tell those words are coming from Tarantino. And what they're saying is perfectly interesting. Doesn't feel like the movie has ground to a halt at all. And the cinematography is, is just classic Tony Scott. There's that wonderful haze and uh, diffused lighting that not many films currently can pull off. I mean, there's a whole debate with what digital cameras can make films look like and you know can they fully be immersive as a film by a film camera can look and as it is it just looks like a very complete world it's like you're transported into this setting and it just doesn't look forced or studio or you know television or anything like that it's just amazing the imagery that tony scott could put in front of the lens so i mentioned the fantastic cast and really, that boils down to one great scene, doesn't it? With Christopher Walken and Dennis Hopper having their, their little monologue duet or, or battle. And I've often wondered when, you know, in my younger years, when I heard that story about Sicilians and their genes. I mean, who cares if it's true or not? It's just a fantastic story and the way it's delivered. I never did think it was true, but... He was just getting one last swipe at uh, Vincenzo and what a way to go out. Such a, a cool, badass scene. And in some ways it's, it's often a shame that this one scene is probably the one that people most remember. As this film is absolutely littered with cool scenes, cool situations. Personally my favourite is the one in the producer's uh, apartment. And he's showing the, the, the Vietnam dailies up on the uh, projector screen. It's such a bizarre situation. But again, in this film, it's completely plausible. And it's always amused me, really, when the whole point of that story was selling on the drugs. And how to do that? Well, just ask an actor. <laughs> As if the Hollywood industry would know perfectly well you know, where to lose drugs very quickly might even be an in-joke. And again, the way he got the drugs in the first place, 
he mistook the suitcase for Alabama's uh, clothing, just took the case, or any case, and left. Gary Oldman was fantastic in that scene as well. Another iconic performance where Gary Oldman just seems buried in some character that he seems to pull off so well. So the whole film is just forbidden love for me. It's uh, romantic, but with death and drugs and crime. <laughs> A very simple story played out really well. I've got absolutely no hesitation giving this the full five stars. It's very rare for me to be as entertained throughout a, an entire film as much as I was with this. I do like Tarantino's work a lot. I feel that some of his films, for me, are a little bit up and down, more ups than downs. This is definitely one of his ups, even though he didn't direct it directly. But I love Tony Scott's films as well. I think when you go back and revisit his films, you can see there's a genius there. And they're not just mindless action. They're art for me. There's a style. And there's no wasted images. They all tell the story. And if they don't tell the story, they're setting the mood. So I find Tony Scott's films immersive more than anything. I'm very sad he's no longer with us. I'd have loved to see where his career could have gone and uh, the many classic films, no doubt, he would have made. And I just wanted to touch on some words that Tarantino said, I think it was in the DVD commentary. He talks about how his opinion differed on the ending of this film. And I think in his script, didn't he say that Clarence doesn't make it out of the gunfight alive? But the way it was directed as a Tony Scott movie, I think the fairy tale of them both getting out alive and having a life together, it works. It works in that setting that Tony Scott created rather than a a Tarantino setting. You could say almost like a fairy tale. <laughs> and one of those I'll probably revisit again soon and still enjoy it just as much. So thank you for joining me for this little little chat and reminisce on this fantastic film. Join me again next time of course. You can like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. All the best and take care.